Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Getting Out of Bed with Michael, where I take you along with me on my journey as I grow in discipline through getting up early and starting my day off in a productive, successful way. Uh, so today it is Thursday, and today um, I've gotten up late again. I got up at like 5.30 again today, um, so not super happy about that. Um, but, you know, is what it is. We keep pushing on um, and, you know, um, growing in, in discipline and strength to choose to get up, you know, because that's really what it comes down to is the point of, you know, when my alarm goes off in the morning um, and I wake up, <clears throat> I lay there. It's just me and a choice to either get up or not. Um, and past few days I haven't. But, you know, we keep on going um, and, and grow and, and fight and, you know, and discipline and strength to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, um, hopefully, um, well, not hopefully, you know, we got to you know, speak these things into existence. Um, I will get up tomorrow and tomorrow will be when I do my um, promised video. I promised you all that I was going to do a video this week with more detail of my morning routine, getting up at five and everything, um, all the things that I'm actually doing. And so that's going to be tomorrow because it's the only day left this week. <laughs> um, so, so we're going to have to actually get up uh, and do that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the plan then. Um, but anyway, what really jumped out of me in my Bible reading today, uh, reading in Matthew chapter 23, and this whole chapter goes real hard, y'all. Like, uh, my boy Jesus just coming out, just coming out, coming at the Pharisees, um, like real hard, talking about all the different things um, that they do um, that, that are wrong. Um, and so, you know, I found that really interesting, you know, and the whole thing is, is really, you know, helpful in the sense that, um, you know, one of the best ways to learn is to learn from the mistakes of others. Um, that way you don't have to make the same mistake yourself to learn. Um, so, you know, this whole thing that he kind of dives into a lot of different things here, um, is a great way to, you know, recognize the mistakes that they were making, the things that they were doing wrong, uh, and be able to try and avoid that in our own lives. But there was one thing right at the beginning that I really liked that I wanted to read um, and talk to you all about for a minute. And so it says, starting in verse 1, it says, Then Jesus said to the crowds and to the, his disciples, The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, so you must obey them and do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy loads and put them on men's shoulders, but they they themselves are not willing to lift a single finger to move them. Um, and this kind of hits two points here for me. Uh, one, um, the importance of honoring those in leadership over you. Um, because, you know, whether you feel like they're a godly leader or not, um, God instituted systems of authority. And, you know, God himself works on a basis of authority. And when there are people in authority over us, um, it's very important that we do everything we can to honor them and to, you know, do the things they um, tell us to do and ask us to do. Uh, and if we can't, if we literally just cannot um, work with that authority that's over us, then our option is to get out of under that authority and go somewhere else, you know, not to, to try and fight and change the system and everything. You know, it is good to bring life to the system. It's good to change, you know, things by, you know, by serving and by um, leading up, which is by honoring them and their position and being there and supporting them and then taking opportunities as that grows trust to be able to, you know, make suggestions and things. But it, <clears throat> But it's never gonna really do that well to just kind of rage against the machine which doesn't re really work very well <clears throat> it's not god's system of doing things so it's important to honor um, those in leadership above you um, which yes includes your parents um, <laughs> that was that was a hard one for me growing up um but you know i was living like the devil most of my life um growing up so you know um but anyway um it's important, you know, um, God specifically says, especially, you know, when it comes to parents, you know, side note, God specifically says that, you know, honoring your parents um, is one of the keys to living a long and prosperous life. Um, so, hey, you can take that promise and, and roll with it. Um, but anyway, the other thing that just really um, jumps out at me is the importance of leading by example and not by words only. Um, you know, because I feel like, you know, a lot of us, don't necessarily feel like we're leaders, but all of us in some aspect are leaders. You know, whether it's in our friend group or there's people that in at different times and different ways look up to us or follow us, 
or in our families or you know at work whether you're in a leadership position or not you know there's people that will you know look to you you know wherever you may be <clears throat> we are all at different levels leading and one of the most important things in this is i never want it to be able to be said of me what jesus said of them you know <clears throat> i never want to be the person that jesus has to say you know honor them and you know obey them but don't live like them like i never want that to be me you know and i always want to lead from a place of example where i live a life um that speaks of the things that i would want to see in others you know because it's real easy i feel like to want to point things out in other people's lives and to want to you know you know like it talks about here putting weights on other people which is basically you know they were you know, directing the people to um, carry this weight of expectation of, you know, you've got to live at this level of life. And if you don't, then you are nothing and you mean nothing. Um, but they didn't work with them to do that. They didn't stand with them to do that. They weren't even living that in themselves most of the time. Most of the time they were just doing whatever they wanted to do and making themselves feel good by forcing um, what they believed to be right on others. And I never want that to be me. I always want my life to be a life that speaks of example that you know i do the things that i would you know want others to do and in the times that i'm leading and i'm you know challenging others and directing them you know to meet them there and walk with them through that process and not to just kind of throw this weight on them and say carry it but to you know pick it up with them and say let's carry this together um and it'd be something that um, is really important and you know oftentimes really hard and something that we have to you know you know, cultivate in ourselves um, through our own personal time and through, you know, holding ourselves to the same standard that we would like to hold others to. Um, so yeah, uh, I feel like that was really important, really good. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that'll be it then for today's Getting Out of Bed with Micah. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember that you are important, that you are valuable, that you matter, that Jesus loves you, and so do I. And I'll see you next time. Toodaloo! Bye!